Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is gonna be my guide to cows in Farming Simulator 22. I did put this off for a little bit because I had seen a lot of issues kind of happening with cows or some things people couldn't figure out or answer and stuff like that. So I did a little bit of testing with some different things and hopefully I think um, this video will answer a lot of your guys' questions regarding cows. So uh, that's the goal today is to go over everything you need to know about cows as well as hopefully answer questions that I've seen most common in the comments. Now, again, if I didn't answer your question, please let me know down below in the comments and we'll try to answer it from there. There's some things that I can't answer like which cow is the best and stuff like that because, well, I don't know those answers yet. That's going to take a little bit more testing, which I will do in the future. Um, in addition to that, I know there are mods coming out for Farming Simulator 22. Um, I'm not going to go into any mods. We're going to use only base game equipment as far as all this goes. So I'm going to I'm going to act as if you don't have any mods installed, and this is just base game equipment. So this will work for all platforms. So that's kind of the premise behind this. But let's go ahead and jump into it. So kind of step one is, well, we have to place some cow barns here. So if we go into the store, we go down to the construction menu. Um, under animals, under cows here we are we have four options so this one will hold 15 cows that's this pasture right here and again you can put it out here hit the right mouse button to rotate it i'm not sure how to rotate it on console if you open your help menu up there it'll help you out a little bit with that um, then we have this guy right here which is this cow barn which will hold 45 cows we have this one which will hold 80 then we have a second version of the large one which will also hold 80. now you notice this one's a lot more expensive 722,000 versus 518. This one has the auto feeder barn. I don't have that one placed out here. I'm gonna do a separate video on how to use the auto feeder. So we'll talk about that again in a separate video. But yeah, we're gonna focus on these three uh, setups here um, and go from there. So starting out, after we get these guys placed, we should be good to go. Now, one of our pens, a couple things I wanna talk about in here. One of our pens will require us to deliver water. So we may wanna go under containers and place a water source like I have out here. Um, and oh, the other thing too, if you wanted to demolish a, a cow pen, all you have to do is let's say I placed one We'll put one just a pasture just out here. Let's say I placed one right there, didn't want it. Um, I can click on it and then hit sell or I can hit demolish over here and then click on it and then hit enter to confirm and you can del you can delete it off the map that way. Um, so that's how you would sell it. But yeah, water point there if you needed to get water from there. Um, other things that we're gonna wanna take a look at if we go under buildings under silo extensions, it has to be the extension, I've tested this. So there's manure heap extension. I have the manure heap out here and the extensions are out here. We need the extensions if you wanna get manure from your cows. If you don't wanna deal with manure, don't even bother placing it. But again, you're just gonna wanna place this next to your cows. And again, if I put that one there and I decided I didn't want it, I can demolish it. So if you do want to get manure from any of your cows, you want to place one of these guys next to the cow pen as close as you can get to it. So you want to place one of the manure heap extensions. If we go under silos at the very end, there is the manure heap. We do not want that one. We want the manure heap extension. We'll hold 4 million liters of manure. Not the silo. We want the extension. Extension, not the silo. Hopefully that clears that up. But yeah, so after we have our cow pens placed, the next step in the process is going to be to purchase cows. Now there's essentially three ways to go about this. First off, we can simply go into the menu, or excuse me, go into the store menu, go down to the bottom, hit the animal dealer, select, and then we can select which one we'd want to go to. So if I select cow pastor, it's going to take me to my cow pastor over here. I can sell animals by hitting select and then I can decide, let's say if I select that and I wanted to sell two of those, I can go ahead and hit space, sell, do that. Or I can go over here if I wanted to buy um, an animal over here, I can do that, select it, buy two and put them in that way. So I can do all that sort of different thing if I want to. Um, now the price of how much they're worth is right here. These guys I've had for a little bit, so they're worth a little bit more. I did some testing again. Um, and then over here, this is the price for buying them. Now there's four types of cows in here. Um, they do say different thing, like this one's for dairy farming, dairy farming. Uh, breeding for breeding, but if you look the reproduction rate is the same for all of them um, So just note down now. Why is there three of each breed in here? Well, this one is zero months old So they're not gonna be reproducing until they get old enough um, This one here is 12 months old um, and this one here is 18 months old So again uh, the further along you get the kind of the older they are the better the milk production and such like that So um, just be aware of that. That's why all these are in here at different ages now Another thing to note too if I go ahead and I purchase let's say I wanted to purchase any 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 cow would work If I purchase one I have a transport fee here um, for that one. I can't move any more in here. Um, so if I actually sell, let's select these guys and get those guys out of there. We'll get those. Those are the two I just bought. But yeah, if we sell those, if I go over here, there's going to be a transport fee to transport one of them. $100 for the older ones, and then $80 for the kind of mid-range ones, and then $50 for the younger one. And again, that's going to be across the board. So uh, 50, 80, 100, 50, 80, 100, 50, 80, 100, 50, 80, 100. And that's if you're transporting yourself. Now, the other way to go about this is actually going up to the animal dealer itself. This is number way number two. 
and I just come up to the paw and hit R to open this menu up. And again, it's the same menu, so you can do the same sorts of things. Now, the final way and the cheapest, well, I don't know about cheapest way, but the way to avoid the transport fee is to purchase in the store. We go down to Animal Transport. There's only one base game one that will do it, so you'll need either a semi-truck or a dolly. This will hold 12 cows, so you can transport cows yourself without paying the fee um, using this. So if you had this hooked up, the way you go about it, if we go on the map, you would find the animal dealer on the map, which happens to be right here. You pull up to that, hit R there with your trailer in the target zone there, and you'd be able to load up cows and then deliver them here. And you can also sell them that doing that without selling with the transport fee. So that's how you avoid the transport fee, and those are the three ways to get cows into your pen. So now let's go into the menu here. If we hit escape, go down here, to this animal symbol. This is gonna show us all of our animal pastures that we have and what's going on. So um, we have our cow pasture at the bottom, our cow barn and our cow barn large. So let's talk a little bit about this menu here. We're gonna start with a cow pasture. So uh, age, this is gonna tell you the age of the animals you're looking at here. So again, they're gonna be in separate groups. So 19 months is how old they are. Then the next bar is gonna tell you how healthy they are. And I'll talk about how to get all of these bars to where they need to be later on. I'm just going over what the bars are in here and what we have to do later, but we're gonna talk about all this here in a second. Um, then we have reproduction. That's how far along the reproduction cycle is. So again, again, was the reproduction 10 months. So after 10 months, this will hit 100% and you'll have a new cow. Um, again, we'll talk more about that. Now, if we go to productivity up here, um, that is how productive they're being. So by taking care of all their needs, you will get the productivity level up as well as the health level up. Uh, water, that's how high their water level is. Milk, that's how much milk they have for you to be able to sell. Once it fills up, they won't get any more until you take it out of there. And again, you can move it into a storage facility if you wanted to wait to sell it a little bit more, which is different than Farming Simulator 19 where you kind of had unlimited storage in your milk facility. Uh, now we go down here to food. We have a total bar, which is gonna be the total of all three categories added up. Um, down here we have total mixed ration or TMR. We have hay and we have grass. If you wanna know how to make total mixed ration, I have a separate video that should come out the same time as this video on how to make total mixed ration help you out with that. Now you don't have to provide all three food types, but again, we'll talk about that here once we get to food. So that's everything kind of in the menu here. This is how the menu works. Um, and that's how everything happened here is just all the different details. Now notice a couple things different. The cow pasture has water and no straw. The cow barn, as, excuse me, and also has no slurry, I should note that as well. Now the cow barns will have no water because the water is provided for them, but they will have a straw bar and slurry bar now as well. So just be aware of that. That's the barns and the pasture does not have slurry, so you're not gonna get any slurry and you don't have to provide them with straw, but you do have to provide them with water. So a couple things to note there. Now let's kind of talk about how to care for cows. So we talked about water. The barns are going to get the water themselves, but the cow pasture here is not. So we have this little water icon, which by the way, these icons, if you want to turn them off, um, we go down here to settings here is it under here it is right here under the main settings general settings go to interactive zone markers turn those off you can see the water symbol out there is off now it's back on so on off so you can turn those on and off if you don't like those i like them on but if you don't want them you can take them off i'm gonna leave them on for the tutorial here uh, so we have the water icon so what we can do is take this water trailer here which there's a couple in the store if we go in the store here go down to if i can actually scroll here animals um, we have, these guys will all hold water. You can see the water symbol down there. This one will just hold water. It's the cheapest option. However, if you're doing cows, these might be good options because these also hold milk, which will allow you to help transport and sell your milk. Um, so this might be a good one there to have. But anyhow, I have the Aquatrans. Um, so again, we can use a water placeable like I have here and I showed you in the build mode at the beginning, or we can go to, if we go to the map, you should be able to go to any body of water like this one here, or this one here to collect water manually that way. Now it's a little finicky with the water trigger. So just be aware of that. Now I have an R to fill up here. It's gonna give me some more water. I don't need too much. If I pull over to the trigger here, it's gonna give me the eye to overload. Now, if we go into the animal menu here, look down to our cow pasture, they don't need that much water, but I'll go ahead and top them up here. Might actually take all of what I have. Nope, not quite. So they're full and it's all taken care of. So I'm gonna get this guy out of our way. So that's water. That's all you have to do is if you have a cow pasture, you have to deal with water. Otherwise, the animal barns, you don't have to deal with water at all. So. Easy peasy. Now straw for cows. Again, this guy does not need straw. If we go back in here, no straw required. These two do need straw and they need a little bit more. So how do you put the straw in? Well, these barns on the inside here, which these doors at the end will open and close for you if you'd like to. I'm gonna leave them open obviously. Um, but there's this little dump icon here and that is where, and again, you can turn it off. That is where you're gonna dump straw. You can either put straw in loose like this, which I have here, or you can place, I haven't actually tested it. You should be able to place bales in here. Um, but what you'll likely have to do for bales is use what's called a straw blower, which if you look under animals, we go down here, we have this guy right here, which is a straw blower. So that will blow straw for you. Anyhow, so you have that one straw blower that's available in base game for you to use. I'm sure we'll get modded ones later on. But yeah, hit I to overload straw. 
I think this is always the easiest way to go about it. And be careful, your trailers will hit the roof like mine well, it almost did there. It will if I, it would have kept going. But now uh, the straw is full, so it'll say straw is not accepted here. And again, in this large barn here, I can actually make the corner. If I pull into here, the same thing's going to happen. Again, these doors open, large barn. I can pull under here and I can put the straw that they're going to need in here. So it's going gonna to hit I to overload and put some straw in there. I don't need to keep putting more straw in there. They'll be fine. But you get the idea. That's how you get straw in there, which you're going to need to make sure your animals are healthier. So there you go. That is how straw is taken care of for cows. Now let's talk about feed for cows. So again, we're not going to talk about how to make TMR. We're just going to assume we have TMR, which is what we have here in this trailer. So what we have to do for feeding the cows TMR is we just go up to them and we just dump into the dump icon. Now they're all going to take TMR. However, you can, if you don't want to make total mixed ration or you don't know the ingredients, you can feed them hay or grass. But no, for hay and grass down here at the bottom, hay is only going to be 80% effective and grass only 40% effective. So at least try to get hay in there, which is actually, that's pretty good. So you're going to only have 20%, uh, a de only 20% deficit on the productivity up here. Uh, but total mixed ration covers all of it. It doesn't need all three of the things. Um, I have not tested to see if hay and grass will stack to see if you can get like 100% if you feed them both. Haven't tested it. Uh, my guess would be not because in general, what happens is they will eat all the TMR until they are done here. And then if there's no other TMR, they'll move down to hay. And once they're out of hay, then they'll move down to grass. That's in general how uh, they've worked in the past. So um, just be aware of that. But again, this dump icon here, that's where we're going to put the food in. And then for the cow barns, the food's going to go right in here, same place as the straw where that dump icon's at. So if we hop into this tractor here, which has a full load of TMR for us, and again, I'll talk about how to make TMR in a separate video. So I'm just assuming you have it at this point. But yeah, so we'll go ahead and move up here get over to the dump icon and then we can hit I to overload TMR and again it's going to work the same way you're just pulling in there it's the same way as adding the straw in there and that is how you take care of the feed for the cows um, so at this point our cows should be pretty much good to go so there's a couple other things I want to note here when we start talking about how to make money off of cows well there's a few ways first off if I hop out of there um, we can sell manure and slurry. So this has manure here. These guys will produce slurry. You get the slurry out by coming under this dump icon. You can move it using slurry tankers, which are found in the store under right here, slurry tanks. So right here, slurry tanks, you can use these to transport them um, to a place that's going to sell them. Same thing with manure, you can sell it. And then also the milk. So you can sell the milk that the cows are producing, um, which the milk you should be able to get out from this icon right here for these guys. And then for these guys here, the icon will be probably on the other side here. It should be. Yep, right over here. So you have your icon to get your milk out from right there. And if we open this up, it should have, no, oh, there's the milk tank. So makes sense. But there you go. You can sell milk, slurry, and manure. And you can also sell other cows, which we're going to come back to selling other cows in a second. Now, where do you sell this stuff? If we go into the menu here, we can go down to, well, any product we want to, but milk. Okay, we can sell it at these various locations here um, that are taking it. And then we can go down to... Uh, manure and slurry, which would be down towards the bottom, and we can sell those things at the biogas plant. So those are options that we have if we own those production facilities, um, or excuse me, if we, we can either use them for production at the biogas plant or we can sell them there. So milk can also be taken to the dairy, which can help produce chocolate, cheese, and butter if you wanted to go through the production chain process. And again, the manure and slurry can be taken to the biogas plant to produce digestate, methane, and electricity. So um, there you go, you can use that for those various things. Um, now, finally, cows. How do we sell cows? Same way as you buy them, you can sell them that way. But let's talk a little bit about, if we go into the cow menu here, let's talk about this reproduction bar. So I've seen a lot of comments, a lot of questions about it. So I have a couple of answers for some of this stuff here. Um, so talking about the reproduction bar, how does it exactly work? So again, once you get to 100%, you are gonna get another animal. There's a few things that people have mentioned. When is this gonna get going? Cause you have to get your health bar up. I have had people ask me how to get the health bar above 0%. You have to provide everything to them. And you might even have to provide the manure pit. I provided that in this, I haven't tested it without. So you might even have to provide the manure pit in order to get them to 100% health or get them their health bar moving up. Once their health gets to 80%, they will start the reproduction process. If it falls below 80, it will stop. So like if I, actually none of these have it, but um, if let's say this gets up to 50% and then your health falls below it because they don't have some sort of material, this this will go into a paused mode. It won't reset, it'll go into a paused mode. I'm not sure if it'll reset after a certain amount of time, but it just pauses itself. Now, the other thing to be aware of is let's say this cow pasture can hold 15, I have what, 12? I only have 13 in there right now. But let's say this was full and this thing got to 100%. It doesn't pause and wait for there to be room here. All it does is resets. 
and you don't get any extra cows. So it'll just reset if your pasture is full. So make sure you don't have your pasture full if you're trying to get more cows out of it. If you're just producing milk, it won't matter at all to you. But if you are trying to actually produce more cows to sell, then you wanna do that. Now, as the cows get older, they become more valuable. So 24.22 is definitely more than um, what you'd pay for the Angus um, in here. So if I go in here, Angus, 15.75 for one that is 18 months old, but this one here that is 19 months old, is now 24.22. So again, their value will go up. You will make money that way as well uh, by taking care of them. I haven't tested when the best time to sell them or any of that stuff is, but that's just a couple of things I wanted to note as far as reproduction goes. Anyhow, guys, hopefully this video has helped you out and give you some more information about cows. If you guys enjoyed it, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.